What is up everybody? It is your man Lundy here. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own short form music videos for your own music. Maybe you're helping out a buddy. If you don't have anybody else to help you, that is entirely okay. If you only have a phone, that is entirely okay. These same principles will be able to be applied if you're by yourself. You just have to want to do it. So regardless, as an example, this is the video we're going to be breaking down today. It is from my song, How High. Here's the example. You got me wrapped around your finger Doing anything to see you smile Can't find rhyme or reason Why the hell I let you stick around Searching for the reason I hope right, Pretty basic, but it gets the job done. That's all that matters. So first things first, you're going to want to make the song. That is most important. As soon as you have your song, you're going to find a location. Make sure it is appealing to the eye in terms of either getting the point across of the song. Maybe it just looks pretty. Maybe you just like the location. All that matters is it works for you. Once you have a spot picked out and you have the song made, you're either going to ask a friend to stand in one place and film you moving around performing your song. If the audio doesn't have to be perfect, you don't even have to be playing your music, just as long as you know your lyrics. It does help to have a speaker, but regardless, you're either going to have a friend to hold the camera, or you're going to set up a tripod and hold the camera yourself, essentially. It may take a little bit more time if you're just by yourself, but it'll be the exact same thing. The three most important things, if we're staying as basic as possible, is going to be good music, good framing, like a pleasing shot, and time sync text along with your lyrics. Most of that can be done on an editing program on your phone. If you're getting to be a little bit more fancy in terms of like color correction, key framing, making everything kind of pop a little bit more, that's when you would use like an actual camera or bring it into Adobe Premiere, After Effects, Sony Vegas, something more fancy, but it isn't necessary at all. Because before I was doing this shit on Premiere, I was doing it on my phone and I promise you it works just as fine. Don't be hard on yourself, use what you have. That's the whole secret, is just doing it anyway, even if you don't have the equipment. Because I promise, nobody cares if it's not super fancy. You could just set it up in your bedroom, in your bathroom, while you're sitting on the ground performing your song. But this is just how I do it. On the video itself, I have keyframed, it zoomed all the way out at the beginning of the verse, zoomed all the way in as soon as the hook starts, and zoomed back out as soon as the hook is finished. And then in between each of those zooms happening, I do a pan crop, which essentially just moves the camera left and right. So I'm always staying centered. But yeah, you can see here with the keyframing, pretty much all I am doing with this is moving the actual image left and right. So I'm centered in frame because if I just left it as is, most of the time during this shot, I wouldn't be in frame and it kind of defeats the purpose. So that's the only reason I do the keyframing is because I get all extra with dancing around and just having fun. So it just helps to be able to fix that in post. After you figure out the keyframing, then you need to time sync the lyrics of your actual song. Me personally, I do more keyframing on the text itself. That way it quickly comes into the shot and then slowly zooms in while having drop shadow on the text, trying to make the font appealing and match the song. More fancy stuff that isn't necessary, but I like to nerd out on it because I'm making a quick little music video. With the color correction, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure it pops and it's appealing to you. This is the raw shot without color correction with color correction. So as you can see, it's, it's a little harsh, but it pops. The background doesn't look as dead, kind of just brings more contrast and highlights the colors that already look good in the shot. There's much more blue in the shot, the text stands out more, everything just comes together nicely. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, don't be hard on yourself. Like this one here, for example, I just set up the tripod, I played the song in my earbud, that was it. I just kept it in one place, slowly zoomed in and out, tracked the text, and it was game over. Looks fine, it gets the job done, it gets the job done. Finished is better than perfect. Finished is better than perfect. Hopefully you were able to gain some value out of this video. I know a few people have asked me how I make my videos and the process of what actually goes into it, so here it is. If you have any questions or you'd like to share your own insight on the topic, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.